talk about motor code. Motor code is different than anything else out there because it's not an additive. So let's let's start with the Temkin bearing machine. This is this was uh, created back in the 50s by Temkin roller bearing, and they were going to test lubricity of oils on their bearings, and that's where it's where it started. Now it got a reputation because it used to come out with a one arm bandit. Have you ever seen those where you pull them by hand? I'm going to start with dead weights, hanging at the bottom of a fulcrum. I'm going to start at 120 pounds, dead weight. I'm not going to touch it, I'm not going to change it, and I'm not going to be able to affect it. These two, these two bearings are under pressure right here. When you, this is a 30 to 1 fulcrum. At the bottom of the fulcrum is a one pound weight. That puts 30 pounds of pressure on here. I got, I got four weights. So that's 120 pounds of pressure on that bearing. Obviously it's going to freeze immediately, there's nothing on it. You guys ever hear of this? Number one product in the world. They built a nice stadium. See them all over the place. And it's a good product. Do not get me wrong here. This is a great product for a lot of things. But you might just have a better one. Let's, let's coat that bearing real good. That bearing's coated right there real now. So you can see it going around there on that bearing. Hmm. This is motor coat hyper lubricant. No graphite, no solids. That's what it looks like. No graphite, no solids, no molly, no Teflon. I'm just going to squirt it right on top of there. Son of a gun, what happened? Did you hear it? It took a little bit to get through the Lucas. Now if I take brake cleaner, spray it on there, take it off. Take off just about anything, right? You sure? <laughs> okay, here it goes. Son of a gun, that Lucas is gone. That's totally gone. I'll tell you that the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bearing, this is a regular roller bearing. I'm gonna turn that to a new spot. That's easy to do. But now this bearing is fixed. It's on there, can't do much with it. Actually, the only way I can clean that bearing is to physically sand it. I have to take, because that motor coat is bonded on there, I have to take and sand that bearing. Yeah, at the end of the long shows over a weekend, that bearing is ruined. But there it is, I've sanded it off. Let's see if I got it off. It's gone. Now, that's motor coat right there on my finger. Don't miss it. Son of a gun, it's back. How'd that happen? 120 pounds of pressure touching my finger, it's running. Ah, that's not enough. How about 150? How about 180? How about 210? Is that enough? No! 240! 270! How about 300 pounds? We are now running, touching my finger, 300 pounds of pressure. Still running. What happens, let's say you've got a great motor coated engine, something catastrophic happens to you, guess what? You're not on the side of the road you got a real good shot of getting home. Nice little piece of insurance you didn't think about. Did you notice something? Yeah, getting high, but it's still running, isn't it? Still running. Still running. More? <laughs> still running. <laughs> 